Hello, my name is Morten Hulskov, and I will give you a short overview of what is going to happen in Copenhagen suborbitals in the next approximate month. A lot of the work going on now is actually more or less in front of the computer. The logistics plan uh, is, is also about getting stuff to Bornholm. Bornholm is an island and it is a little bit difficult sometimes to get things over there because you only have a ferry about twice every day. So um, it is a, a, a talk with our logistics partners on how to deliver stuff and make sure that it is delivered the right place. In, in this regard we're talking about for example the liquid oxygen and all the, the helium gas we need, we need for the rocket. All the, um, the rest of the materials we more or less transport ourselves. We rent a truck and, and, and take it over there. But what we also need to do is make sure that this area outside, what we have here is just the southern tip of Bonholm. What is actually marked here is uh, the big tower, which is today called the Bonholmatorne, which in Danish means the Bonholm Tower. It is an old uh, defense structure that was used for, um, by, the, by the intelligence community. And it is placed so it has a very good view out over the Baltic. Next to up here is where we sail from, and approximately out here where I point with my finger is where we will, uh, where we will shoot the rocket. It's about 30 kilometers from, from shore. And what is in here is actually the base station that we contact so we can do a live streaming. So making sure that all these things are ready, that the people who owns this place are actually we're talking to them, making sure that we can get in there and we can get our equipment up there and talking with the, with the internet the provider on, uh, on the island as well. It, it's just a lot of work that usually takes about a month, a month and a half to complete. And the final stages of that is to contact the uh, Danish authorities, the maritime authorities, and making sure that, uh, that we can actually use the area, that there's nothing else out there and to contact the air traffic controllers as well and making sure that we have the airspace for ourselves. All this is more or less just boring paperwork but it is what is needed to, to actually do a rocket launch. It's not the sexy part but it is just the 90% of the time we actually use on everything else than building the rocket. The rocket and the testing is the sexy part, it's the easy part to watch but all this paper pushing in the background is just the way of life and um, as a member of the board it's just one of my responsibilities. I actually enjoy it because you get to talk to a lot of people and uh, meet a lot of interesting people you never never ever would have, have met anyway. So um, that is my little part of this and over the next month all these pieces will come together as a complete mission plan with everything from logistics to personnel to the actual rocket launch and the cooperation, the great cooperation we have with the, the different authorities and especially the Marine Home Guard as well. So this whole project is what I am one of the people who start doing right now. Also what we do now is contact our sponsors and give them the heads up what is going to happen because we live by our followers as we say your support is our rocket fuel and we have a lot of good sponsors who helps us with pieces and money and everything else needed for this operation and to give them back and to give back to the community that helps us is actually one of the most important things when we start uh, getting to the point where we, where we launch. This looks like a very unfinished product, but it's not as bad as it looks because it is really a lot of nuts and bolts that needs to go together. So over the coming month, the rocket will be built, taken apart, rebuilt again, and in approximately one month, we will do the first of the cold flow tests that is the initial stage of actually checking that the rocket is working.